Hello everyone! Today I will be presenting you the ways on how to make an instructional material. So personally, I have made here um, and utilized the use of PowerPoint presentation. In crafting an instructional material, it is very important to consider your background. It is also very important to consider your topic because your background should be aligned with what you are going to discuss to your learners. Personally, I take in um, pastel colors to be used for my background since it does not give too much color and it has too much, it has colors but it is not very distracting to the eye of to the visuals of the learners. Here, when you put text in your PowerPoint presentation, make sure to um, provide the right size of the text make sure it's not that big and not too small for your learners to see at the back of the row but since it's an online class make sure that the presentation that you have is not too congested nor it's too short for your learners and it can be easily understood by your learners my topic is an impromptu speech here i placed my name and the lesson In crafting a PowerPoint presentation, you do not have to write everything from the textbook. Make sure to just write um, the keywords, something that your readers can easily understand or can easily remember when they, um, when they, when they see the word presented. Personally, I, take, um, I placed short words or short sentences on my PowerPoint presentations to, to make it... Um, easier for my learners to understand and not too congested for my learners. Here are some strategies in organizing an impromptu speech. Then we have here the, the, the tips or the strategies. An example, another tip, uh, another strategy, another example on how to use it in many contexts. Another example. And here I presented the tips in delivering an impromptu speech. So when I when I have um, discussed this one, I make sure to have to ask for my students' insight. So first I presented the title, think first before speaking, and then I ask my learners which I what do you think? What do they think? Or what are their perception when they hear the word when they hear think first before speaking? So generally, when I crafted this um, when I crafted this PowerPoint presentation, I made sure to engage my learners and to make it interactive as much as possible. Then here's an assessment. The only constant here in my assessment are the inst is the instruction. So when I um, when I move to another slide, I made sure that the instruction is still there, so my learners can still. Uh, if they forgot what the instruction is, they can easily see what the instruction is. And that ends my presentation. As you can see, in crafting um, a PowerPoint presentation, I made sure that it's not too congested, nor my learners can, uh, my learners find it boring to see that there's a lot of text inside my PowerPoint presentation, but I made sure that during the discussion or the discussion prop, prop, proper, all of the words written here or the keywords that I placed in this PowerPoint presentation has been given or has been discussed properly. And that ends my instructional material, the crafting of my instructional materials. Thank you!